When it comes to the DC catalog, Superman is the most well-known character that's been underutilized or sort of mishandled by the management of Warner Brothers and just DC as a whole, as the fact that when it comes to a lot of Superman projects, they are less likely to be greenlit in comparison to someone like Batman. And it just seems like anytime there's an opportunity to do really something special or unique with the character, they give more light through, you know, Superman's, you know, recognition, whether it's through a video game, an upcoming movie or TV show, it just seems like they don't, they're not really as eager to go forward with it and really putting him on the sidelines as of recently kind of like a lack of respect for him now that seems to be kind of shifting and changing with you know the emergence of james gunn's dcu and james gunn writing and directing the superman movie titled superman legacy and i think there was also like an animated superman show that was in development i'm not sure if it's still in development but you know it's just kind of like kind of seeing like a shift for like wb's slash dc's attitude towards the character of superman and why i think that it should change and kind of just looking back in time kind of just seeing the mishandle of the character throughout different types of medias you know with a cause with the dc brand but before we get into the video make sure to join the discord server that i linked down below and in the pinned comment you know come join I'm trying to build a community over there really just talking about build a fan base talking about you know dc marvel and just other comic book related media and kind of just comic book genres over there you know trying to see you know what your interests start you know have debates you know discussions just all on that if you really want to join a community i'll link it down below in the description and i'll just leave it in the tim top pinned comment down below all right back to the video all right first let me know obviously the most fumbled way when it comes to the character of superman is through the live action movies you know with his henry cavill's mistreatment you know with the dceu and how warner brothers have just decided to underutilize him or just not use him at all and ever since like the justice league reshoots you know obviously the original plan you know after man of steel was to have like a man of steel 2 i think um after the events of batman versus superman and like justice league you're gonna have like a man of steel sequel but then you know, obviously after the poor reception of BVS and Justice League, it kind of forced Warner Brothers, or not necessarily forced, but Warner Brothers felt inclined to do some major shifts and kind of refocus their, I guess, what their DCU should be. And for some reason that didn't include Henry Cavill Superman. And then so for the longest time, you kind of had that, just him in the sidelines, people wondering where he is. But then you kind of had, you know, the emergence of, you know, Black Adam and Dwayne Laron Johnson wanted to put him in. And even though Henry Cavill announced he was coming back, it was never set in stone. It wasn't like a contractual agreement. It was more like a handshake and be like, yeah, you know, we'll do that. Obviously, he ends up not playing the role of Superman anymore and Man of Steel doesn't happen. But on the brighter side, we are getting a new Superman movie that will kind of kick off the new DCU. But it's just kind of like this whole situation shouldn't even have happened in the first place with Wonder about this just mishandled, you know, nature of certain DC characters like Ben Affleck's Batman or Henry Cavill's Superman, just how, how they were mistreated and just done dirty by Warner Brothers in general. And it's just like the fact that they were willing to greenlight all these other projects like a Batgirl movie over like a Superman sequel. Like we live in a modern age where Ant-Man in the Scott Lang MCU Ant-Man has a trilogy before modern Superman. That's just insane to think about. And another aspect that I want to cover when it comes to, I guess, mistreatment of Superman as in video games or lack of thereof due to the fact that Superman has just straight up never gotten a video game. Because you would think after the success of like Batman Arkham, you would think that they would kind of get that formula and emulate it for a Superman game. Uh, because, you know, Wonder Woman is getting a game developed by Monolith. We don't know when that's coming out, but it was announced during the Video Game Awards at uh, December of 2021. And, you know, obviously you have Batman with like the Arkham games by Rocksteady. So, you know, to complete the trilogy of video games, you would think, yeah, it'd be Superman. And there was, you know, a Superman game in development. Uh, you know, there's obviously like different rumors and stories about that. You know, whether it was like WB Montreal trying to develop a Superman game or Rocksteady might have pitched a Superman game to one of those executives, but they might have denied it. But either way, it's kind of just goes to show you how... With it, like I understand it is harder and more complicated to make a Superman game without making it boring or making him OP, but I feel like with the right developers, you can really make something special. Like I feel like Rocksteady, out of anybody who's done DC projects, would be one of the best choices for a game centered around Superman. You know, there's a lot of creative elements and choices they could have done with there and like some of the concept arts there. So I just hope sometime in the future that they'll decide to do a Superman game. Because, you know, we really, because just thinking about, you know, we lost out on a Batman Beyond game 
in favor of Gotham Knights. And if it is true that Rocksteady was working on a Superman game, we really lost that on that, you know, for Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, which I hope is good, but if it were up to me, I would much rather have the Superman game. And just kind of going over some of the final aspects that kind of represent WB's kind of lack of care for the Superman character, or I guess DC in general, whether it's comic books or other forms of media. It's just kind of like their lack of effort to really revolutionize and kind of change the overall zeitgeist of the Superman character, or like his sort of reception toward from people the average modern audience you know seeking superman is like a boring character he's you know he's overpowered he's this and that and i just feel like there haven't been too many modern stories that have come out that really kind of convince otherwise to really show people how cool of a character superman is and what he means to the overall dc universe because you know you have plenty of comic stories that have come out that have done this but like I, you know people don't really read comic books like that or at least like average audience members who will see a movie that they're not going to pick up a comic book but i do think that making an effort to just really ex exemplify you know the best superman stories whether it's through animation or you know live action video games i think it's just the perfect embodiment or it's just a perfect way to really solidify you know to make superman not necessarily popular again because he you know he's already is popular but just to kind of increase like the fan reception and make you know more positive outlook on the character